Let's look at luminosity in Camtasia. To understand how we use the luminosity effect, we need to understand what Camtasia is doing. So to understand this, let's think about three separate tracks in Camtasia. On the top track, this is where we're going to define the luminosity. In other words, the luminosity is the brightest parts of your video or of your clip. So what it does is it will say the brightest parts of the top track will display whatever's in the second track or the track below that. And then the darkest areas of that top track will allow through all the way to the third track. The brightest elements will be shown whatever's immediately underneath. And then as it gets less and less bright, it will show less and less of that second track and more and more of the third track or the track that's at the bottom. To better understand this, it probably helps to look at some examples. So let's head over to Camtasia to see what that looks like. Here in Camtasia, we see we have this image that is very bright on the left and very dark on the right. If we were to apply luminosity to this, it will show through whatever track is below it the most here and then whatever track is below that over here. So let's try that. I'm going to right click the eye icon. I'm going to choose luminosity and I'm going to move this red over to here. And so you can see that lightest area that was here on the left allows through that red track and it doesn't allow it over here where it was the darkest. And then if I bring the blue over, now it's saying the blue is underneath that's the third track. So to understand this example, we'll just have a red track that's immediately below and a blue track that is on the bottom or is our background. Okay, let me turn this off and let's look at a different element. So here I have three text boxes and I group them all together so they would be on one track. So I could apply luminosity to all three of them at the same time. So I group them together and we can see one is completely black, one is a medium gray, and one is completely white. So again, we know that the brightest elements that would be the text here in white, will completely shine through, so that will be completely in red. The gray that's in the middle will be 50-50, oh, so it'll let a little bit of the red through and a little bit of the blue. And then this black text or anything else that's not bright is not going to show any of the red at all. All right, so let's try that. Again, I'll enable luminosity on this track, and you can see that the brightest part, that was where the white text was, allows through everything here on the red. Then. The gray that was in the middle, it's like, well, 50% red and 50% blue. So half of the track that's below it, half of the track that is at the bottom. And then the rest of it, there wasn't any brightness at all. The black text, the black background, anything else on this track had no luminosity at all. So it doesn't let any of this track below it through. It only shows what is here at the bottom in blue. So understanding that, let's consider this picture of a flower. So we can see here the lightest parts of the flower should let through the red, and then the darkest parts that are in the background should let through the blue. Let's try it. And there we can see that's exactly what we expected. Let's disable that and look at this video. We have these crystals forming. And again, same idea, whatever's in the lighter areas will shine through whatever's below. The darker areas will shine through at the bottom layer. Let's try that. As it goes through and we play this video, it doesn't have to be just a still image or text. We can see that as it plays through, things become increasingly one color or the other. I'll disable this again and we'll take a look at this video. So in this video, we have this ink that's being dropped in and it turns things from light into dark. And then we see this area that's blue that's somewhere in the middle. It's not completely bright. It's not completely dark. It's somewhere in the middle. Again, I'll enable luminosity on this track. I see everything is red and then we play through and then all the darker areas let through or make this second level transparent and shows what's below it. And you can see the different levels. So it's very much blue here and then a little bit of red and blue in the middle and then completely red out here. Now we can also use other types of images. So we can use these clouds, for example, or we can use these flowers in a video, or we can use these jellyfish swimming around to show different levels. So let's enable the luminosity channel and look at these. Again, the lighter parts are letting through the red, the darker parts are letting through the blue. We can see that here. We can see the same thing here to let through those different levels. And then here on the jellyfish, we have the red being the jellyfish itself, and then the blue is the background. I'm using the red and the blue to show you very clearly when it's letting through whatever's on the track immediately below it or what's on the track at the bottom. But those two tracks don't have to be solid colors. They can be anything you want. They can be other images or they can even be videos. So if you wanted to, you could combine multiple images or videos and try luminosity that way. So let's look at a rather odd example. Over here, you can see that I used clouds at one level, then the flowers at another level, and then the jellyfish at the bottom. 
So the clouds should let through anything that's light on this level and anything that's dark on the bottom level. So let's look at that as it would play through. So now when I play through, you can see there's this jellyfish and flowers and clouds in this weird twisted dreamscape sequence that I've created. Now, chances are you're not going to create anything like that. Uh, that's really bizarre. But the idea here is to show you, you can combine multiple images, multiple videos, and have them layer over top of each other to create unique effects. Do you use luminosity in your videos or do you have an idea for luminosity? Leave a comment below and let me know how you could use luminosity in your videos. I'm Ron from cammastery.com. I'll see you in another video. So long.